What's... Are you stuck in the rock? No. No, you're not. Alrighty, guys, and welcome back to Ark, where today I'm planning on taming up a Ceratosaurus. Now, what we're going to be using for this today is I'm just going to fly over on Larry, and we're going to be using this guy, our... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're the modded ones that we got in, the... Dimantrosaurus, Dimantosaurus, Diman, yeah, Diman, Diman, the Diman, this guy, and I have named him Littlefoot, so we are going to pop him back in the cryopod here, I just popped him out for having him there in the intro, and I did have to reload here, so this guy's not going to be popping up, boom, if he, oh, where is he, why is this not working? Okay, I got it. I got it fixed. He's there. He's where he, I left him. So, this guy, I've already gone out. I've taken out uh, Statman. I've looked at him. He has a 35 in melee, alright? This is like the first actually good 150 Serato. I've probably gone through a good 20 of them. They do sp spawn fairly regularly, about the same places as a Carno does. So, yeah, it's just... This one was the first good one, so I don't know what it's going to be like like getting them but my plan is is i'd like to get some serratos done like bred up and like get them in the geno library so that way we can use serratos against the megapithecus i think that would be a nice one change up the dinos you know we got the fairy army there at green Ob, and well i feel like maybe just a different army for uh you know megapithecus it, it just spice things up Okay, so luckily for us, this guy is right down here by our boat. So if I do die, I do actually have to respawn really, really close. And, 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 actually, what I can do here... Rhino Nanthia has a safe place to land where he won't get bitten. And boom, and... Oh, I got launched all the way off. That's fun. So we'll pop him out now. Hello, my dude. And we'll throw one of the hemoglobin cocktails on him. This is the thing, though. I gotta see if the Serato will bite them. So, there he is. Is he gonna get... What's going on with you, man? The Serato is acting weird. What's... Are you stuck in the rock? No. No, you're not. You're perfectly fine. Okay, so what we need to do here is... He's already got it. Yep, we'll feed him the hemoglobin cocktail. So what this guy's gonna do there is... You see the drunkenness? The more he bites, the slowly he's gonna get drunk. So 9%. That's perfect. So I'll get this hot barred. As soon as this guy's like completely drunk... We can uh, hop off here and start passive taming him. Also, I just realized my mic, I always like mess up the gain on it every episode. It gets messed up. Little foot here, you can take it, man. I trust you. I believe in you, little foot. He's not gonna die. He won't. He's got over a thousand health. Or he's nearly got a thousand health. Not over, but nearly. I do need to be careful with his attacks, though, because he might one shot the Serato. He does, like, a good 2,000 hit. So. 34%. Alright, I'll get back to you guys when we get close. Okay, we're coming up on halfway now. It should be about 50%. Yep, it's exactly 50. So, our hemoglobin cocktail only lasts about 3 minutes. We're down here to the last minute. I'm hoping I don't have to do any more. I hope I don't have to do another hemoglobin cocktail. Because that means I have to go hunt down more Serratos. Which, I probably should have hung on to some of the spikes. I know I did toss a couple out after a kill. And that was just so that way I didn't, like, fill my inventory with them. Okay, I'm pretty sure here on this next one he should be drunk. Like, 100%. Or he's watching me like 98. Oh, yes, it is perfect. It's a, a 98. Come on. Come on. 100%. Okay, now he's going to go into a passive mode. And... Oh, you were recently injured, so I can't cryo you. But what I can do here is I can jump down. 
No, they're gonna he's gonna walk around like this for a while and then I can just passive tame him. Is this the wrong food? Oh, this is the wrong food. Okay, I am gotten back. I have my best kibble. Cause I've forgotten what kibble it is. I'm hoping that these work. That it you know. I don't hope I don't have to run back and get mutton. That's the one thing I'm hoping. Because that's the next thing up. Like, that's the next option here is mutton. But right now I'm just waiting for him to starve. Ooh. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. So, it's going to take about four feeds. But, seems how I did the first two with the other one. Uh, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit longer. I'm hoping that the hemoglobin in his system lasts a while. I don't know how long it is. Uh, I might have to, like, if he runs out, I might have to quickly turn around and hop on, uh, Littlefoot, give him another hemoglobin cocktail, and let this guy go to town munching. Littlefoot's over there making noises, that's what it is. That's what we heard. So, also, I am in my ghillie suit. We'll put our hood on, so that way we blend in with the trees. We, we're legit, just, the grass is feeding this man. Don't worry about it. It were also, yeah, ghillie suit. Oh! oh! Tickle chicken! Good thing we have a ghillie suit on. <laughs> that That is a tickle chicken, my people. That is a mer that is a tickle chicken. It will mess us up. Luckily, though, I have the shotgun. But if we miss, I don't... I don't want to hit the Serato is the thing. And I don't want the Tickle Chicken to hit the Serato. Okay, this one is going to be the last feed. He's at 80%. We're back over here. I've gotten Littlefoot cryopotted back up so we don't have to worry about that. Larry's over there parked on the boat again. <sighs> Legit, just one more feed. I really don't like his colors, but he's really... We're going after him for the stats, alright? Mostly the guys here for the genetic library would go in for the stats. Larry, though, I'm not gonna lie, I tamed two extra Rhino Nanthia, or at least bred them, trying to get the colors. And then when it, with it stacking with the Giganto Raptor ones, it turned out just the way I wanted the colors. And here we go, we got our Serato. Um, now, oh, I forgot my, uh, I was gonna check his stats. I forgot my thing back at the base. I forgot a uh, stat man. He's back at base, so what we'll do here instead is we'll run back to the base. I just whistled attack my target on a fish, I'm pretty sure. Also, there's piranhas. Larry, stop. All right, now we'll go back to base and we'll check the Serato stats and see what that melee turned out as. Alrighty, we are back here at base. Let's go check the Serato stats. Now, I've not done much around base at all in between episodes this weekend. Uh, mostly what I did was log off and play Helldivers. So, alright, let's get this guy out. Serato, please don't get... Uh, okay, you're good, you're good. And now we'll check your stats. Oh, look at that melee. He's got 40. He's got 50 points into melee. I almost said 40. He's got 50 points into his melee. That's perfect. Especially for Serato. Now, if I could just get a good health on them, like a really good health, it'd be perfect. That's all these Seratos need now. I just need one of you guys that is perfect. Um, What I think I should do here is we're only at eight minutes nine minutes this is actually this went by a lot faster than i thought it would like really fast and oh yeah you're cryo sick i can't do much with you but i can do this i can throw your uh this stuff back on you this is there the chest piece and all that these are the other things you can craft in this guy and they look pretty good makes him look like he's cargo transport Alrighty, guys, so that's going to probably be it for this episode, because I'm not getting many more Serratos spawning in. I just did two laps around the map, checked, and there's no good ones. So, uh, it seems how it took me so long to get 
this guy. Uh, I'm going to wait here. Uh, just We're going to do the same, but I'm going to end the video. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember that we are running a sub goal and a member goal. So for the sub goal, this year I would like to hit 10,000 subs. We are almost to 2,000, so we are shooting, skyrocketing our way there, honestly, in my opinion. So, yeah, I think we're well on track to meet 10,000. And anyways, we also do have our membership goal, which we are almost there. We already got two people joining up since I started doing these, and yeah, we... We're trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Once we hit 10 YouTube channel members, we'll be opening up an ARC server. So anyways, if you guys have found yourself liking this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Gunshot Moray, signing off. Peace.